Hello there, wonderful viewers. Thanks for choosing this video from Fixit. Join Fixit on a journey of knowledge and creativity. Today, I will show you how to create Google Form. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any Fixit magic. Let's get started. First of all, open your web browser and then go to google.com. When you get to this page, make sure you are logged in with your Google account. I'm logged in as you can see here. Now we want to tap on these nine dots here in order to open up this menu with all of our Google apps. Scroll down until you can see this purple icon that's called Forms. When we click on this, it's going to open this Forms page where we can start creating our Google Forms. At the top of the screen, you'll see a bunch of different templates for your forms from which you can choose from you have a contact information form, a party form, an event registration form, and we can expand this to see many more templates. But if you don't need any of these, you can simply click on the blank option, and that's going to open an empty form, which we can customize to our liking. As you can see at the very top, we can give the name to our form and I'll call this example or something like that. And right below that you can give a description to your form, like what is it, about and all that other stuff. Now we can add our question first, the typical first question that you see on. Most forms is the name, surname, and similar, but you can put anything you want here. Now put in the answers where it says option one and add option at the right side of our question. You'll see this multiple choice, and if we click on that, you'll see this menu pop up with a couple of different options that you can choose from. You can select a short answer if you want the person to write their name, surname, or other short answers on the question. You have the option to add a paragraph so they can write longer sentences, and we have some date and time options in this menu as well. If your question is something related to their date of birth or similar, you can put the date option, and they will be able to choose a day, month, and year as well as the time. If you want some specific questions to be required in the Google Form, you can enable this required option in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can also see this little toolbox at the right side, which will enable us to add different elements and stuff to our form. If I tap here, I can add a previous form that I've done in the past, so I will copy a question from there. If we want to, if you want to add images or photos into your form, you can do that as well. And we have a couple of sections here where we can upload photos from our computer, add an URL directly. We can add photos from Google Images and a couple of more options. We can also add videos from YouTube in this form. We can add another subcategory in our form and add a title to it and some description. When we add all of the different elements and questions to our form, we can click on this little eye icon to see how our form will look like and we'll get this little preview. This is what the person that's filling out the form is going to see. Now the last step is to send our form to someone. When we tap the send button, it's going to open up this little window where we can send the form directly via email and I can get my form link by clicking on the second button. And we can also enable this shortened URL if we want our link to be a little bit shorter because we don't want huge links in our chats or emails. So I can copy this link and when I send this link to someone they can click on, it will open the form and they can fill it out. That's how we can easily create Google Forms within a couple of minutes. Did this video help you? Comment below if I fixed your problem. Hit the subscribe button for more tutorials. Your input fuels us. Comment something below you would like to see fixed.